Hi, in this video I'm going to go over how to install and configure the DAS to Cinema 4D bridge for DAS Studio. So starting with DAS Central, and you can also do the same thing with DAS Install Manager, find the DAS to Cinema 4D plugin and click Install. If you already have the DAS to Cinema 4D plugin installed, then you may see an update button and you should go ahead and click that if you have that. Once it's installed and you see a launch uh, button here, then that means that it's updated to the latest version. Go ahead and start DAS Studio now. Once DAS Studio starts up, go to the file menu and go down to send to and you should now have an option for DAS to Cinema 4D. Go ahead and click that and you'll see the updated DAS to Cinema 4D bridge window. If you don't have anything in your scene, you'll have this help text up at the top with links to GitHub and uh, the Cinema 4D FAQ and some YouTube tutorial videos as well as right here, uh, these last two is uh, the Maxon knowledge base for how to create a plugins folder for Cinema 4D and the DAS 3D forums. What we need to do is actually install the Cinema 4D plugins. So in the advanced settings section, you'll see Cinema 4D plugin installer. And we'll need to click Install Plugin, but before we do this, I'm going to open up this second link here for where to install the Cinema 4D plugin. So this link will show you how to create the plugins folder for Cinema 4D. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to open up the Windows Explorer and go to Documents. So we're going to click New Folder and add in Cinema 4D. Inside this folder, I'm going to create another folder and call it Plugins. Now, it's important to note that if you have OneDrive installed and set up to back up your documents folders, then user documents is not actually user documents, but it's actually user username OneDrive documents. So you'll have to be very careful about where you're storing your files and what the actual path is into your documents folder when you're um, configuring folder paths such as we're about to do for Cinema 4D. So now let's open up Cinema 4D. Once Cinema 4D is open, click Edit on the men main menu and then click Preferences. In the Preferences window, select Plugins on the left-hand side, and then click Add Folder. Now navigate to the Cinema 4D Plugins folder that you created. If you have OneDrive installed and set to back up your Documents folder, then make sure that you're actually looking inside the correct Documents folder which will be inside OneDrive rather than your main username documents folder. Click Select Folder. Since I have OneDrive enabled for backup, mine is Users Username OneDrive Documents Cinema 4D Plugins. Make sure there's a check mark 
in the box next to the folder path and close that down and shut down Cinema 4D. Now we're ready to install the plugin from the DAS Studio bridge uh, window. Now I navigate to that same folder path again. And again, if I'm using OneDrive, make sure that OneDrive is correctly in the path and then click select folder. If the installation was successful, you should see a message telling you where DAS Studio has installed the Cinema 4D plugin. And hopefully this will match up with the path that you put into Cinema 4D. If it is, click OK, and then restart Cinema 4D. Once Cinema 4D is restarted, you should now have a DAS 3D uh, option on the main menu. And if you click DAS to C4D, you should get the DAS to C4D window. And that completes your installation and configuration of DAS to Cinema 4D Bridge.